Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be going over pillars and grains and salt detail. Let's start with pillars. Pillars were an unsecured, secured way, and I know that sounds a little weird, but it was an unsecured, secured way to transfer sensitive data from the master to the minions. And the way it works is that whatever data you have, you can you specify only to which minion or server or a, or salt agent is going to be receiving that particular data. If and the sense of restricting sensitive data to go out to all of the all of the agents or servers is how you keep it secure. Now this was the original method. The new method is to use Vault, which encrypts the data before it transfers it over. So you transfer the encrypted data as plain text and and then you decrypt it on the on the minions or the agents or the servers and that's how the transfer is completed in the new way. But first let's go over the old way and then in the more advanced courses I'll show you the new way. Now grains, if you've ever used Chef, um, Chef is, Chef uses something called OHI. Grains is very similar to OHI. Uh, basically what it ta what it does is that it has a generic list of system information like for example operating system versions uh, application it may have installed um, libraries that's installed Python versions and so on and populates them within the within the grains data now you can add and remove grains uh, however you see fit and we may have to do that for one or two things in this particular course but it's not meant to be dynamic. It's not meant to be. Uh, it's not meant to hold sensitive data. It's just for. It's just for system information. Salt util is is what controls the the update or the push of grains and pillars. It's used to like for example, if you update a grains, you have to make sure it's been applied with salt util. Same thing goes for pillars. Make sure that it the pillars are refreshed on the minions. So those are the two main difference between the pillars and the and the greens. OK, guys, so I've gone ahead and logged into my salt master and I'm going to show you what the grains look like to start off with. There aren't any pillars as of yet because we haven't added any pillars, but I'll show you what the grains look like and how we can sync them with salt detail and so on. So as I said, I'm on the salt master. So if I do sudo salt test.ping, I should be able to, yep, there's our master and there's the web01. So let's start with the web01. Salt w star, again with globbing, it makes a lot more sense. And with grains.items, we should be able to see all of the grains, uh, grain information uh, of this server. So as I said, we get a lot of information. So let's start from the top. We're not going to go over all of these, but just generic ones. Um, it shows us drives, the CPU architectures that can allow, um, private IP addresses, and DNS names, and of course, Ethernet d devices and kernel information, as well as memory, OS, and so on, Python version, as well as the salt version and the type of machine it is. Um, one of the things that this particular version does not include that I would like to see is the EC2 instance ID. And we'll be doing later on. We'll be doing a little bit of Python to get the instance ID included into the grains uh, into the grains information system, and and push that through with salt util. Now salt util, uh, again, it's there are a few things that we can do with salt util. Two, a few major things. So if we run salt util, uh, oops, if I can spell correctly pillar underscore refresh. This will resync the pillars between um, what you have in the master and what's on the minion server. Uh, we don't have anything right now, so it's not going to take much time and just return true. And we can also do sync all 
because there's more than just grains and pillars to sync, but we can just sync all, which includes grains. Um, to be synced. But since we're not pushing any new grains, it, the null information will be changed. We'll still see the similar same information. So that's pretty much it about uh, pillars and grains and a little bit of salt detail. We'll visit more salt detail later down the line, but these are the main functions that you'll be using with salt detail. All right. I will see you guys in the next video, and we will be writing our own state files, which protrude to installation of several packages at, over the sorry not over the it, we will be installing several packages that will be like web web packages for example nginx apache and so on all right so i'll see you guys then have a good one